How you doing, Mr. DJ? Picking out yet another Lost 45 from Billboard's Hot 100, June 1st, 1968. You probably never even heard this song before, or perhaps you've heard it but haven't heard it in years. It's like, oh man, I remember that record. It's been 40 or 50 years since I've heard that. It is Cream, Anyone for Tennis, Billboard's Hot 100. This is completely different from their previous, some of their other records like Sunshine of Your Love and White Room and Badge. Badge was a fantastic record. Might have been about Patty Harrison. I can't help but wonder if that song was about Patty Harrison. You might remember Eric Clapton, uh, the lead singer of Cream, had a major, oh my gosh, an amazing crush on Patty Harrison. Had an affair with her. Eventually married her in 1979. But uh, let me bring up Billboard's Hot 100 for you real quick. It's at number 64. It peaked at 64. It looks like it debuted at 99, jumped 20 to 79, then up to 65, and one notch to 64, June 4th, I mean June 1st, 1968, Billboard's Hot 100. It's laid back. It's, a, it's something that you wouldn't expect from Cream, a laid back record. A departure from their style. Actually, it's from a movie. It's a soundtrack from a movie called The Savage Seven, an outlaw, outlaw biker film. Marked the acting debut of Penny Marshall, who uh, later was in Laverne and Shirley back in the 70s. And uh, the, the album, the song was produced by Felix Pepperlarde. Oh, man, one of the hard rock producers. This guy could rock, rock, although eventually he lost some of his hearings because, his hearing because, well, Felix Pepperlarde produced uh, Cream's second album, This Rally's Gears, which featured Sunshine of Your Love and Strange Brew. And Danny Form Mountain had that enormous monster, heavy metal, thundering, classic rock record, Mississippi Queen, back in the summer of 1970. But Felix Pepperlardi produced producing this very atypical record by Cream, Anyone for Tennis, at number 64. Week of June 4th, June, I don't know why I say June 4th, June 1st, 1968.